I like to joke that in you know, maybe 30 or 40 years, my daughters Addison and Brooklyn might be allowed to date, but I know it'll most likely come long before that. It was honestly weird enough to see them just wearing my wife's engagement ring just for a little bit. Definitely not ready for all that yet, but I'm thankful that if it's God's plan for each of them to get married one day, then he has a godly guy in mind for each of them. Ezra 9, 1 and 2 says, The people of Israel and the priests and the Levites have not separated themselves from the people of the lands, doing according to their abominations, even of the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Perizzites and the Jebusites and the Ammonites, the Moabites and the Egyptians and the Amorites. For they have taken of their daughters for themselves and for their sons, so that the holy seed have mingled themselves with the people of those lands. The issue wasn't racial. It was religious. Well, sort of. It was actually all about a relationship with God. And that relationship is so important that God has guidelines to protect it. I think it's a shame that many Christians have jumped to the conclusion that interracial marriages are unbiblical. Many critics of the Bible like to make similar claims. Hey, but Ruth married a Jewish guy and got to be in Jesus' family line. So did Rahab. And that's just for starters. Different skin tones aren't a problem, but different faiths will always be a temptation to pull a believing spouse away from God. I honestly don't know if our girls will marry guys with that same beautiful skin color that they have, but it definitely matters that they find guys that have the same faith in Jesus like they have.